everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dania, I'm from Belarus, Minsk, but since 2018 I live in Bremen, Germany and I'm so in love with this country that I even created this channel, so please support me and subscribe to it. Thank you! Recently I witnessed something that helped me to regain my hope in the humanity and in German specifically. On my way home in the train, I was next to a young couple with a newborn baby that woke up and started crying so loud. And you know, this is not something that you want to experience on your way home after a hard day at work, right? So the baby kept screaming and screaming and the young mother was trying to do everything in her power to calm the baby down. She tried to feed him, she was checking if she's dry, she tried to figure out if he's hot, if he's, if he's cold what's going on like i saw the panic in her eyes and i knew that i also cannot help because what i have to say i don't have babies <laughs> so the mother was really trying to do everything she wasn't just sitting in her phone and like where her baby is crying or something no it wasn't like that but after she tried everything the baby wasn't hungry they wasn't uh, tired or anything then the mom took her mask off and tried to shh to her baby and the baby come down immediately once he see her face. So then both mom and me realized that the baby was just scared because it woke up in a place it doesn't know and it didn't recognize its mom because she was wearing a hat and a mask and you know newborn babies are also not seen that well. So it was fixated on the mom's face as a face that he or she saw during his short life and now the face disappeared so of course the baby was crying and it was a very blessed moment that the baby finally uh, calmed down that me and mom both got very happy and I think the whole train as well apart from one German guy that stood up and immediately started screaming at the young mother that how dare she take her mask off uh, during these times that we are having right now that uh, she and all of the migrants are the cause of all the problems and he was just raging and raging and raging and pulling all the shit out of his body on like on this woman that just tried to calm her baby down and she tried to explain that to him but he didn't listen he kept just screaming so this was a really unpleasant moment and for me as a fellow migrant it was also very upsetting because uh, when Germans speak like that I feel guilty for even coming here even though uh, I still have the same problems as you guys do uh, moving to another country doesn't make automatically one's life better it depends only on you what kind of life you're gonna get no matter where you go but before I lost my nerve and got really sad, uh, one German woman stood up for that young mother and started screaming back at that German guy that he should shut the hell down because it's better for her to get the corona than hear that baby crying. Because, you know, who wants to hear the baby cry? It's in our instincts. We try to do our best to calm the baby down. And if taking the mask off was the only thing that helped, let it be it. You know, maybe that guy had a really bad day or maybe he lost somebody during the corona. I don't know the background story, so I'm not trying to judge him and I'm not even angry at him or the situation in general. I'm more pleased that that German woman had the nerve and the balls to stood up in front of that man for that foreign migrant young girl with the baby in her hands. Like, that made me immediately realize why am I in Germany and why do I love Germans so much? Because you can say the things that I don't have confidence to say and uh, I'm really happy for that. So this kind of made me think of all of the situations when Germans helped me without me even asking them, just because they could. For example, in my first year in Germany, I forgot my ticket at home and of course I got caught and I would have to pay 60 euro fine uh, if not for one person that just took me with his ticket because in Germany after certain hours or on the weekend, you can take somebody with you on your ticket for free and that person just did that because he was traveling alone so he could take me in and another German that was controlling the tickets and knew that I don't have a ticket allowed that because, you know, why not? And I felt kind of really cool about that and ever since I started also taking other people with me on my ticket because 
the good things that come to you uh, will return if you do them to other people. Like I think that you have to like transfer the kindness so uh, someday when you will need help it will return to you as well. Or let's think about other situation when I was really in a deep crisis, I had a lot of debts and I had a lot of problems and I didn't know if I will have a job tomorrow and my friends really wanted to go to that restaurant that was kind of expensive and they really wanted to celebrate uh, the upcoming holidays together and they invited me and I knew it's very impolite to refuse them so I explained to them that my situation that I really 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 cannot afford spending any extra money right now even though it's like 40 or 50 euros just I had to politely refuse so uh, a day later they discussed it without, uh, without me on their own and they decided that they will all pay for me because uh, I shouldn't miss on a happy moments when I'm in trouble. I should be focused on something positive in, instead. So they just decided to do this kind of thing for me and they offered to take me in and just pay for me uh, because they know that eventually uh, problems that I'm dealing with will get better and they did. Uh, so now I'm able to <laughs> take somebody to a restaurant with me as well. <laughs> and I was really happy. It's uh, embarrassing to talk about this, but uh, I didn't expect Germans to do that. I mean, uh, they hardly knew me, but they wanted to have fun with me and they were really sad that I reject them. So once they found out about the reason, they just helped me because they could. They could. And that's really nice. Or also, I cannot stop being grateful to all of the Germans that comment on my videos, for example. I remember every single one of you. Like, really, all of the comments that you put to all of my videos, because uh, I don't even have that many videos or uh, that many people watching me. So, of course, I keep track of each one of you. I stalk you as well. <laughs> I mean, I'm really happy when you post something, uh, because it makes my day better, because uh, this year I'm going through something very difficult and I mean it's a corona year so of course I'm sure that you're also going through something and I'm really happy that uh, Germans seem to stick together and help one another and uh, when you write me something nice I just uh, get a really good mood and I want to brighten somebody else's mood so we're all kind of sticking together and I love this and I'm really grateful to you so even though I'm going through something very difficult right now that I may tell you when it's all over, I'm still very happy being here because I found out in all of this time here that Germans are way better than the stereotypes about them. You're not cold and reserved, you just need time to open up. But once you do open up, you're the nicest people that I've ever met and I'm so grateful to have you. Thank you guys, I will catch you next week. Bye bye!